Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Honey, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I told you already, I'm going to get my nails done. Again? You just went last week. You spend more time at the nail salon than you do here at home. Honestly, why do you need a manicure every week? Well, first of all, I like to pamper myself, and my nails look great. You should come with me. Why? I don't want to have nail polish or anything like that. They don't only paint my nails. The manicurist will remove my cuticles, file my nails, and apply at least nails coats of nail polish. Yeah, sounds like something I should definitely do. I've been thinking about getting my hair cut. I thought you were going to let it grow out long. I said that, didn't I? But I just don't know what to do with it. You're in one of those in-between stages, aren't you? Yes, it's not short enough to be wash and go and not long enough to do anything fancy. Have you thought about wearing a hat? Everywhere I go? Well, it's one way to get through the in-betweens if you really want to grow it out. Do you remember John from head office? Yes. Have you heard what happened to him? No, what? He had his car stolen. Actually he was kidnapped while he was in the car. What do you mean? Well, apparently, he was just getting into his car he'd parked it in one of those underground multi-story things he was just getting in and suddenly three guys with guns opened the back doors of the car and got in. Crikey, where did this happen? In Taichung, I think. Oh, right, I hear they have a lot of this kind of problem down there. Really? Well, anyway. They pointed their guns at him and said, You know, keep calm and drive out. We don't want to hurt you, we just want your car. So what happened? Well, he drove out, and when he got to the booth to pay the attendant, he pretended to have an epileptic fit, you know, to scare the thieves away. The attendant was no help at all, even though the guys were holding guns in plain view, he did nothing. That's terrible. Yes, makes you think, doesn't it? So what happened next? Well, he kept on pretending to have a fit, so they freaked out and just ran away. Well, he sure was lucky. I'll say. Hi, Jack, how have you been? Not very well. Why? Looks like you're feeling very down. What happened? Nothing. Come on. For a man who's feeling so, down, there are usually two reasons. Either his career is going downhill, or he has a broken heart. Since you're so successful, it must be the latter. Well, you're right. I just broke up with Jane. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you two were made for each ochre. Well, you never know. I'm ready for a commitment and want to settle down, but she says she wants to pursue her career while she's still young. Well, she is not to blame. It's always difficult to choose between career and family. Maybe you're right. Jack, I don't know what to say to comfort you, but cheer up. There are plenty of fish in the sea and you'll find your soulmate, your perfect match. Yeah, but it's hard to forget her at moment. You know, we were together for almost five years. It's really hard. Before Christmas Party
Are you ready for the Christmas party tonight? Almost. I have to get dressed. It's a formal party and I have special party makeup. Use this lipstick and it will make your lips shine. Great. Uh. Remember that there's a gift exchange, too. We all have to bring a gift. I've already got mine. At the party, it's Christmas Eve. Time to open presents. Here, open mine first. Wow, it's just what I wanted. Hey, why don't I have any presents? What does your friend Jim do? He is a teacher, but he makes a little money on the side by repairing cars in his free time. He can repair cars? I cannot believe it. Believe me, he is the first class. How are you, Sue? Pretty good. I've just had my new poems published. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. And how's your brother? He is fine. He's going to be sent to Britain to study, really? Yes. He's already got the passport and visa. Fantastic. Please send him my congratulations. Thank you. He's very lucky indeed. How have you been? Fine, thanks. How about you? Have you ever thought about your ideal home? I have, actually. I've always wanted to build my dream home myself. What would it be like? Well, it would be spacious and located next to a park, because a nice view is important to me. How many rooms would it have? I'd want it to have three bedrooms on a second floor with balconies on each, and one main bedroom on the main floor with an attached ensuite. I'd also want a large living room and kitchen connected T. How many bedrooms would your dream home have? I'd have one guest bathroom in the basement, one attached to the main bedroom, and one upstairs. So a total of three. How would you decorate your house? I don't like a lot of clutter, so I wouldn't have lots of things out. I would have a few vases on the mantelpiece and some pictures of my family on the walls. But other than that, most things would be. How many TVs would your dream home have? I think TV is a great waste of time. So I would only have one small TV in the kitchen to watch the news in the morning. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.